Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Rich for another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so... Alright, so I don't know what to discuss, but... Let me create a project. I'll be using the system's default metric. So when you say system's default metric, it will, uh, it will include the, the template for mechanical electrical and plumbing okay because as you can see you have here electrical default metric so it only uh, concentrate on electrical as well as mechanical and plumbing so they have their uh, each individual project templates so if you want to combine these three templates into one template so you can use systems okay so I'll be using systems default metric Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to use the filter uh, to apply colors to your pipe or to your uh, duct. Okay, so let's say for example, okay, so on my 1-Mac, let me create uh, the duct here. So I select the duct. Okay, so this is my duct. So the width and height is 300 by 300 i'm not going to change this so i'll just create one here okay so i'll just zoom in let's say 1500 okay modify and then i'll create another duct here so let's say uh 400 by 400 now I create another one here. So basically, I'm going to create a different uh, sizes of duct. Okay. So I'll just oh sorry, I'm just going to copy this. Copy multiple constraint. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. So I'll change this. Let's say this is 500. The height as well is 500. So this one is 600. Okay, uh, height is 600. Okay, and then this one, so I'll change this to 700. So take note that, that this procedure is, is the same with your piping. Okay, if you want to apply colors to your piping using the filter. So right now, there is a color that is applied or uh, already in our... Uh, duct here why because if i'm gonna select this you will notice from the properties the classification here is supply air so by default in this template the supply air is this color so you can check out that from the families uh duct system if it is pipe you can look for pipe system so you see supply air i'm gonna right click this and then check out the type properties okay and then after that if i check out the graphics here click the edit you will notice that it's colored blue so if i want my supply to be let's say red i can change this to red i change that to red okay and then okay it will become red okay but that is not what I'm going to do, okay? I don't want to mess up the duct system here. But at least you have an idea how did they end up as a colored blue, okay? You just check it from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply colors to my duct or let's say to my pipes, okay? I'm going to uh, apply uh, colors, to my duct here based on the filter not based on the system okay so probably what i'm going to do is okay i'm gonna open the visibility graphic overrides vv and then check the filters here i click that okay so as you can see uh there is no filter here yet for my duct okay so that is what i'm going to do i'm going to create filter for my duct okay what's this three 
400, 500, 600, and 700. Okay, so let me create a filter for that. So let's say, for example, for my 300, I'm going to base my my color, let's say, based on the width. Okay, so based on the width. So the width is uh, 300, right? So I'm going to base the color on my width. So let's say, oh, I want the 300 duct whose width is uh, 300 to be colored, let's say, yellow. Okay, yellow. Okay, so to do that, so what you can do is you need to create a filter, VV. Okay, and then you go to filters. Okay, let's create one. Edit new. All right, so let's create one. So I select this tool. So this is for my doc underscore height uh, let's say width I want width width underscore 300 and then I select here okay so as you can see it's now added here from the filters so the next thing that you need to do after you create the filter is you need to specify the category so what are the categories that you want to be included to your uh, filter okay of course I want to include my docs okay the fittings okay if my fittings is 300 it will be included here if the fittings width is 300 it will be included to this filter so dock fittings uh, dock here mm, I think uh, I'll try this one okay dock fittings and docks so if 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 this is pipe then you can use select uh, you can select pipes and pipe fittings Alright, so after I select dock fittings and docks here, the next thing that I need to do is the filter rule. So what will going to be the filter? So I'm going to click the drop down arrow here. And then after that, I'm going to look for that particular parameter here. There is no parameter width here. As you can see, there's no width. Is there a width? No width. Okay, let me select more parameter. I'm going to add parameter. Okay, and then I will call it. No, no, no. I want the size. Okay, let me see. Uh, hmm. All right, there's no width here. Okay, how about I'm going to use the size here? Okay, so the size. Okay, the size that contains 300 since there's no width. Okay, so the size that contains 300. Okay, and then after that, I select here apply. Okay, apply. Okay. And then let us add it here. So let me just remove these filters here. So I select this and then remove, select, remove, select, remove. Okay, then I'm going to add the filter that I just created, which is this one. Probably I change the width here because we already base it on the size since there's no width parameter from the list. So you can change now this to, probably you can delete this. You can just use duct 300. Yeah, yeah. So probably I'll just change that. Let me just edit. Okay, uh, I'm just going to remove the width here. So there is a way to create the width parameter, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I select doc 300. Okay, there you go. All right, so I w what color do you want? So I want the color, let's say... For the dock 300, so I want the color to be yellow, and then OK, and then OK. There you go. And then let me apply it. Then OK. There you go. Why? Because if you select this, you will notice that the size there contains 300. That's why it becomes yellow. 
okay? So it overrides the dock system color that you have here. The filter prevails, all right? Now let's say, for example, what's this? This is 400, okay? So let's say, oh, I want all the dock whose size contains 400 to be colored red or whatever color. Take note, again, you can also apply this to your pipes, all right? Okay, so let me just create a filter again, VV, filters, edit. Uh, I can duplicate this actually. I select this and then I can duplicate. Then you can just change the name. Yeah, so that you have uh, another option so you can duplicate. So 400, there you go. So the categories are already selected which is dock and dock fittings, okay? But this time, of course, you need to change this to 400, right? 400, apply, okay, add, okay. The procedure is uh, the same, okay? All right, so I want the 400 to be red. Select this one, select this, okay, then, okay, there you go. So what's this? This is 500, this is 600, this is 700. Okay, so I'll just create the filter one time. Filters, edit new, create new, dot, what's that? 500, okay. Okay, you look for dock fittings and docks. Then after that, you select, uh, What's that? Size that contains three, 500. Okay, 500, apply. Then I'll create another one. So probably I'll just duplicate this, duplicate. I'll change that to 600. Okay, change this to 600. Okay, then I'm going to add. Eh, what happened? <laughs> didn't create it anyway so 600 so let's say the 600 is uh what cyan okay oh uh, let me just hmm strange okay i'll just create the 500 select this duplicate i rename this oh i forgot to change it i forgot to duplicate okay 500 Change this to 500, apply. Okay, then you duplicate this again. Duplicate, you change this, rename. Okay, this is gonna be our 700. Okay, contains 700, apply. Okay, and then let's add it. Let's add 500 and 700. Of course, you can arrange this. So let's say, oh, I select the 400. I'm going to move it up. Click, click, click. Click this one. Move up. Okay, I want the 500 to be colored blue, for example. Okay. 700. Okay, let's say I want this to be magenta. Select. Okay. Okay. There you go. You see? Right? So if I create a pipe, you want a technical or piping, let's say I'll start in 700. Okay, 700, this one. Eh? Uh, I think we need to change this one to 700. <laughs> okay, let me just change it first. Our filter is now messed up. So I select this. Uh, let's just make it both 700. All right, okay, so dot, uh, this time both 600. All right, so I select this one, there you go. Okay, so I want both 500. Let's try to mess up Revit. <laughs> okay, and 400. Take note, you can also do this in your uh, piping. Let's try to bend here. 
There you go. And 300. 300. And 300. Okay. Right. See? You now have a Technicolor pipe. Let me just delete this one. Okay. So, in 3D view, it looks like this. There is no color. Okay? It's just the default color. So, you need to apply again the filter. <laughs> but, instead of doing it again and again, like, since you already created that, you still need to add it, right? So, you need to add these five filters. But, instead of doing that, okay, again, so what you can do actually is, you can go back to one dash mac wherein you created the settings of your filter. What you can do is, you can create a view template. View template that is actually a collection of uh, view settings, including the filter. So to create a view template, you can right-click this. There's the uh, create view template from view. So meaning to say, we will be using the settings of this view to create a view template. All right, you click that. Let's say this is my Technicolor. Technicolor duck or whatever name that you want. Select that. And then you will be going to the view templates dialog box. That's the template. You will notice if you go to the filter here, it's there, right? Okay. If you want, you can also change the surface pattern. So for the color, this is yellow. You can change the pattern to solid. Okay, so probably I'll just make this black or yeah, I just make it black. So this is black. So I'm going to make this all black or just clear the override. So I'll just clear the override here. So I don't want to put a color there. For the outline so I just want to change the patterns here so let's say the 400 is 400 is red the pattern is solid okay color is green pattern is green all right uh-huh Color is uh, cyan. This pattern is solid. Okay, the color is blue. Solid fill. All right. So basically, I edited the colors. Okay, then I select OK. So that's the settings. This, that is our view template. So I'll just select here OK. Now, so if I go to the 3D view, which is this view. So I can right click this and then I can apply the view template. I can look for my Technicolor duct and then I select here. Okay. There you go. Nice. See, you now have a Technicolor uh, duct. Right. So that is how you use the filter to change the color based on the size of your pipe or your duct. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, don't forget to share my video, tell it to your friends, and that's it. Y'all stay beautiful and handsome. Bye-bye.